Assalamu alaikum my dear children I am here with the last part of this lesson revision that is I love my India so let's get started yummy treats have you tasted vada pav from mumbai or chole bature from delhi or dosa and idli from chennai what about rasogulla from kolkata different kinds of tasty food are made in india samosa biryani dhokla and rasam are some more of them find out where each of these is from so in india different people live and they eat different kinds of food tasty food and every place has its own special tasty food that is famous in the whole country like vada pav it is the famous dish from mumbai chole bature is famous in delhi dosa and idli are famous from chennai and rasogulla from kolkata this samosa it is famous my famous dish of tamil nadu people dhokla it is famous in gujarat rasam it is famous in tamil nadu so different places in india they have the different famous dishes so in india different kinds of tasty food are made the next is colorful dresses people wear different kinds of dresses in india depending on where they live most of the indian dresses are very colorful they are made of different kinds of fabrics such as cotton wool and silk what is your favorite indian dress so in india different people wear different clothes and their way of dressing depends on where they live and most of our indian dresses are very colorful they are made of different fabrics such as the cotton wool and silk so what is your favorite indian dress ask yourself next is the lively languages many kinds of languages are spoken in india hindi and english are the two main languages used by the people other than these two every part of india has its own language in india different kinds of languages are spoken in different part of india every part of in india has its own language but the two main languages are hindi and english hindi and english are the two main languages that are spoken in india and every part of india has its own language like maharashtra people they speak marathi tamil nadu people they speak tamil and etc so different part of india has its own languages and many more many more things make india a special country various kinds of songs and dances are popular in india and also there are many things that makes india a special country what are that what are those there are the songs and dances songs and dances are popular in india indian writers and poets are famous around the world for the first of all what is the meaning of poet one who writes a poetry they are known as the poets so indian writers and poets are famous around the world sports movies and science are other things that make india well known in the world and also the sports movies and science are the things that make india special in the world that makes india well known in the whole world next are national symbols what are national symbols there are some things that have been chosen to represent india what is the meaning of represent be a sign for something these are called our national symbols so this lotus national flag <clears throat> tiger mango peacock these are the national symbols of india these symbols represent the india okay so what is the national flower of india it is nothing but the lotus our national flag it has the three colors orange white and green in between there is a chakra next one is the tiger tiger is the national animal of india national fruit of india is mango and national bird is peacock so these are the simple symbols of india and they are called as the national symbols they represent our country india next let's have a glance over this fact the money or currency of india is called rupee this is the symbol used for rupee so so what is the currency children money the money or currency of india is rupees isn't it and the symbol of rupees is like this whenever you write rupees you have to write like this rupees 200 rupees 3000 and etc okay in saudi the currency is sr saudi rials in america it is dollar the sign of dollar is like this so what are these these are the symbols of the currency that that is used in the different parts of the world 
now next one is the brush up let's have a glance over the complete lesson india is a country the people of india are known as indians and we are proud to be an indian isn't it why because it's a free country india has various kinds of landforms that makes india a beautiful country isn't it the people of india live together as one big family we all are living together in india in peace isn't it despite of all the differences that we eat different food we wear different clothes we we stay in different parts of the uh, country but we all are living together in peace that's called as the unity in diversity isn't it children next one different parts of india have different kinds of food clothes languages songs and dances some national symbols have been chosen to represent india like the what is the national flower of india it is lotus national animal tiger national bird peacock and the national fruit is mango these are the symbols that represent our country india and these are called as the national symbols well that's it children it was the end of our 14th lesson here our syllabus ends and this was the last video that i uploaded in this academic year inshallah see you soon till then stay safe stay connected take care allah hafiz